Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Voidigo. We are jumping in again and going for another run uh, and just seeing what we can get done. I've been still just absolutely loving this game. I, I think we've not played as this guy yet, so I think I'm going to try play as him this run and see, see what's what with him. Just jump straight in and um, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to jump in and see what's what. In a fusion, um, he's happy to lend his modular supercharged organs to his friends. The device contains the heart... And its special properties make projectiles orbit around and the sun beamer. Okay, let's give this a go and see how we get on, I guess. But yeah, still absolutely loving this game. It's just tons of fun. But yeah, some, some sort of orbit-based weapon by the sounds of it. So let's see how that uh, performs. Ooh. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. I already goddamn love this weapon. It seems crazy and I love it. There's also some sort of secret back here, which I've not seen before. I didn't know this game had secret rooms. Uh, so that's intriguing to see. Uh, if we get a weapon that can explode walls, we'll see what we can do there. We get the axolotl. Okay, so there's the orbiting. So the orbiting's really good, and damn, with this thing, it seems even better. I was like, what's this chest? How would I open it? It's just one of the destructibles. My bad. Yeah, okay, so far I think this character's pretty cool. Definitely some intrigue on my end here. We can do some cool stuff with it. Like, the starting weapon seems goddamn amazing. Like, it seems to do really, really good damage. I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy indeed. So here's our shop. I will check what's in our shop straight away, because sometimes there's a giveaway max HP thing. Um, What we got going on here? Faster reloads, always good. Faster sprint, increase max ammo. Okay, we got some good stuff in there. Increase max ammo and faster reload are two that I'd definitely be up for. Uh, the increase max ammo one can be insanely good on certain weaponry. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for that. We've got a fast thingy here. Boom. Boom, boom. I'm trying to get all of these that I can. There's a goddamn ton of them. I'm so glad they added this glow to them. Makes the map so much easier to traverse and sort of prioritize what you're doing. But yeah, I'm, in, I'm interested to see how this fares against a boss. I feel like it's going to be really good. And I, I think certain weapons would be really good with this general orbiting pattern as well. Gonna be a few out there that really, really like do a very good job. Shortcut thing. Still, I, I can't like I gush so much over that because I literally I started playing the game was like, this game's good, but it's got one thing it's really missing, and literally like within like two episodes they were like, oh, you mean this? There you go. So we get our essence for this weapon. Nice. Whoa. All the shots were, like, in the same place, then. There's some ammo, finally. Boss should be spawning any minute now, I think. Alright, quickly check in here. We got a challenge room. Don't stop moving. Combo stomp boost. I'm just going to take the skip challenge one, because uh, I don't need any of those. Good. Grab all of this where I can. Ah, oh, that was a pretty bad hit by me there, but luckily wasn't for a lot of damage, so it didn't really matter. Ha oh, ha, beautiful. Beautiful. We also have a corrupted chest here and a regular one. So we got grenade on reload, rat infested loot. Rat infested loot was really good last time. A trade weapon. Trade Moldy Pepper. Uh, oh, trade that weapon for Moldy Pepper, I see. Stronger knockback. Eh, they're all decent, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it up on that offer. It comes with us anyways, okay, nice. So like with this I can just like keep firing.
Ah, oh, bugger, I didn't realize you did that, you shit. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. This weapon isn't as good as against bosses as I was hoping it'd be. It's decent though. It's definitely be better out there though, I think. Oh dude, that attack! That attack like spooks me out. One minute. Uh let's do down here first. Ah, oh, balls. I just kind of let that one hit me. Well, we're going for a quick restart here. Interesting start to our run, but also not really. Um, either way, we'll jump straight back in for another one. It is how it is sometimes. That's just how the game do go. Oh, bugger. That guy got me as well. But we're doing, like, we're getting through these uh, rooms pretty quick with this weapon and stuff, so it's not all bad. It's just a bit of an adjustment period, I think. I think just in general with this game, if I haven't played it in a little while, I've got to readjust, and it's been about a week since I last recorded, so I've got to sort of build myself back up again. Dude. Yeah, see what I mean? I'm getting hit loads right now. Not conducive to my success. At least the game's given me health back this time. Because last time it didn't really. After getting hit, I didn't really get any extra health. Oh my god, I need to stop getting hit. It's so bad. Yeah. Oh lord, if I die twice this early, it's not going to be a good look for me. I'm not interested in what you've got to say, boss man. I think we got everything that we need to in here. Not interested, boss man. Good. Loot portal as well for the dog gun. Extendo dog, which... Last time I used this, I remember it being not so good, but I think I'll give it another chance. The extender dog. It's kind of cute, either way. Right, do you want any max HP this time? Always looking for the max HP thing, because the max HP thing is just such an insane value. One heart for 80 shards at the start of the game is so powerful. I feel like those are the runs that I more often win where I get one of those at the start. Yeah, I feel like it's not... The Extend Dog isn't really quite doing what I need it to. It's, it does destroy walls, though, which is kind of nice. Honestly, at this rate, just go for it, yes. Um, Three second longer orbit time and one more bounce. Sounds good to me. And great haste while sprinting in air. Don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Oh, shit. Okay, I see. I see what it means now. Bigger clip. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have taken the um, bullets to a sharp turn to avoid walls. I wonder how that would have worked in conjunction with what I've got going on right now. Might have been interesting to find out. Combustion. Man, I'm liking this sprint thing. It's a little bit hard to jump onto enemies' heads as accurately as I used to, I will say. Overall, I think it's a good thing, though. I'm not sure I'm not sprint when I'm uh, jumping on enemies' heads. I normally just hold sprint all the time, though, so it's a little bit of a learning experience for me. Is that not it? Is that not everything? Oh, there you go. Cool. 
we're all good. That's my shots, thank you. Fast over, but we'll take that. Cool, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's really nice for getting around, that is. Ooh, hello. I will always accept this challenge. It's fucking stupid to do so, but... I need to use my, my actual gun. Oh, we got two of the same boss. I've never had that before. It's always been two of two different bosses. Maybe I should have had a better weapon with more ammo before I did this, but what's done is done. <laughs> well, so quick to move out the way. Guess one of them's buggered off. Guy yeah, isn't really asked about buggering off at all by the looks of things. He has expended all my ammo now, though it's just that doggy now. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Okay, let's be careful because my health is low. I'm not using the right weapon there, whoopsie. Right. Where are we going? Okay, the dog actually does insane damage. So, my bad for dissing the dog. The dog actually has crazy good damage. Like, goddamn. If you hit both the bites, it's just game over, this bad boy. One more bite. I just got hit straight away there as well. Stupid. That's one boss done. Then, second one is over here somewhere. Keep wailing on him. Good. Okay, second phase. Use the speed boost to dive around. Dude, that speed boost is so sick. How have I not seen that item before? There you go, baby. The double. And we've got melee extension. I guess I'll take that. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'll take it. Uh, we've not been to the shop this floor properly, so let's quickly go check that out. Did we even go in here before? Hello! Hello. Uh, we've got rat infested loot, it's always good. Increased melee durability. Ten shards. Just got a kind of a refund on some of the money that I put into that. That's about it. Anyways. Let's get going. Next floor. Okay, so we might be doing a melee build here. We've got some melee-centric stuff. We should get our max HP for doing our challenge here as well, which is nice. Thank you. 
Sacrifice power up for max HP, hell yes. Two max HPs quite so soon. The long arm. Oh wait, this is the fucking triple. If I if I could trade something else for that, I'd I'd, t I'd take the long arm. But I'll I'll play into this. This thing can be pretty good. Come on, dude! You took all of it. At least you paid out in the end. Finger gun. Ah, my doggy is my boy. Grenade on reload. Wasn't ideal. I don't know though, this... I'm gonna trade the doggy for it. It's a, it's a, this could be bad, but this item's so good. Now we have extended melee reach. Like, that's just so powerful for us, potentially. Right, let's go. Hope this finger gun's good. Uh, but there'll be other melee weapons that'll be good along the way. Doggo's just been the first good one, but... Eggs will be stepped on. Birds will be angry. The two absolutes in Porco Land. Right. Bubbles going on around here. There's so much going on in this room right now. This finger gun thing, I don't know how good it is. Apparently I got hit for a heart and a half worth of damage there. I, I'll be honest, I don't really know how that happened. So far this thing seems bad. This thing seems really bad. It seems to be doing like almost no damage. Oh, dude, I just got hit by like three shots in a row there. Okay, wasn't there a festival? Definitely. Wasn't there a heart back here as well? That there was. Good, good. Was not feeling too secure there. I don't know what that is, but it may be a melee weapon. The areas will have... Magmoth babies. Yeah, okay. Fine. I literally traded the axolotl and got a different axolotl. Is that like a is that like a guaranteed thing from that machine? Oh dude, what do I keep getting hit by? I'm so confused. How is there still enemies left? Fucking get away from me. It's not a goddamn... It's a batapult, I see. Not a melee weapon either, though. Right, let's take these for now. Grab that. Re-grab that. Let's use the Batapult here to do some damage. If we can, that is. This thing seems terrible. I thought the bats would, like, auto-target or something, but this is... Is it because they're orbiting? Is that why it's so bad? They're just doing relatively nothing right now.
Take the prick stick instead. This thing's better. Still not quite our dog gun, but it's better. Okay. Oh my lord. Do you know what? Yes. I need the max HP right now. <laughs> Ugh, this has been stressful. I regret giving up my dogger. I thought it would be such a good idea. It, however, was not. Right, what are you going on in here? Max HP for 60. Yes, I'll do it. Thank you. Right, what we got going on in here then? So we got 40% more durability on melee weapons. Hell yes. We've got 400% air speed. Two instant corrupted max HPs or rat bullets. Take that as well then, I guess. And then I don't know if that's a, a gun or not. If, I'm going to assume it is. Right. Oh my god. It's so crazy. Right, check in here. That looks like a hammer. Um, parasites will emerge from defeated enemies. That's good to me. I don't even know what I'm shooting at or what's where right now. This is so confusing. I think I did it. No? I got hit by something. I'm having a hard time understanding what. This is a melee weapon. Awesome. And we get Chensa Spawn Exploding Crystal on Impact. Yeah, sounds interesting. Try that out. Right, we just got Mjolnir. I'm intrigued to see how good this is, but I'm hoping it's going to be really good. Oh, yes. That's very good. That is very good. Honestly, yes. I don't need that anymore. Hey, you got the booster scythe as well out of this. Nice. Now we can use this for, like, regular enemies. Nice. It's like fucking drags me forward like crazy though is the only thing. Very hard to stay out of enemies' ways. But it does a lot of damage though, so I can't complain too much. Right, is that starting room? Where, where haven't we been so far? Okay, just to the left of this. I could sacrifice some more max HP if I wanted to. Or that'd be a bit risky, especially when I'm getting hit as much as I am. Why is there still a bunch of shit falling down here? What's going on? How is there still so many rooms I haven't seen yet? What the hell's going on here? Oh, dude, almost died there. Okay, let's 
Th this weapon is really fucking me over because it's dragging me around way too much. It's HP there. I need it. Okay. Are we good? Are we golden? Is there any health anywhere that I can get? Apparently in here there is. There it is, baby. Okay, boss time. Milnia should do a really good job against the boss here, I think. I think the boss is ready to fully kill as well. Oh, dude, what? Where is the boss? There you go, finally. Not actually doing as much as I would have thought. I'm pretty sure my dog did more than this, although this is a later stage, so it might just be that it's because it's later on. It's not looking like it's doing as much, even though it is doing more. I like this a lot. I think this is probably something that's better for just general AoE than it is for direct damage on a boss. Like, if I try this thing. It's doing about the same damage, I think. This thing's just a lot harder to use. This thing just got a lot more impact as well. It feels better to use. You get more percent per one of those things when you have the uh, item that gives you more durability as a whole. Pretty cool. I like that. Right, take one of those bits of health. Follow this bad boy around. But we, we do have a thingy here. A turret in the middle. We can maybe utilize to help kill us this guy. If he could come back, that'd be very nice. I'm using Thunder too. What do you feel about that? Because yeah, normally this is like 30%, and instead it's giving 43, so I think I'm getting more because it is capable of holding more. Can you stop, my guy? You're a real pain in the ass, you are. Fucking die. <laughs> Six seconds longer, 600% uh, speeder so fast. Why not take that? That seems fun. Go to the next stage. I don't think there's anything we want in the shop, so let's just go. Trade clip extension for 20 of those. Oh, wait, no, I'd be trading these for that. I don't want to trade these for that. No, God, no. I just think for my max HP. Sorry, I want my max HP. In my belly, please. I want to keep it. It is mine. One moment. Oh, God. But yeah, I've got, like, super duper speed now. That's awesome. Yeah, at the minute, I'm going to sort of beeline it to the uh, the boss, I think. I'm going to use Mjolnir, I think, for most of the combat here, because I think it'll kill most of these enemies very, very quickly, like two or three hits max. It at least, at the very least, stuns them a bit. Beautiful stuff. This is a very fun weapon. In fact, let's just let's just ignore stuff for now and try and get to the boss. Well, we've already found three of these, which is pretty good going. Ah, oh, dude, I, I, I could have taken the uh, the extra there and I forgot to the extra boss. I mean, although on this floor it might have been a little bit risky, but well. Scythe for full upgrade. Hello. Hello. Stompable button that stops time. The sword steerer shop discount. Mm 
You can have that, yeah. And I can leave that there for now. So, I don't think shop discount's worth it at this point. I think we take... Definitely take that first. Then we take... Stompable button that stops time. And then I take this, which is a weapon, right? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. I hope we'll use this during rooms rather than Mjolnir. But yeah, this thing does good work. And then, yeah, we've got 160% durability on these bad boys now. HP is res very respectable, thank you. Gun I do not care about in the slightest. Good. Good. The boss is here again. Real quick, mate. Real quick. I'm just going to dip out of here. Grab this. Come back in here. Back out we go. Oh yeah, we're 49% this time, so it does scale. Uh, whoa. For some reason I wasn't expecting the boss to still be here. I don't know why. It's very stupid of me. Oh, dude, that fucking bird. Fuck you. Bugger off with that thing. Stupid bird. Oh, that was close. Remember we've got the full heal if we need it as well. Right, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. A little bit more HP there. Crack there. I need to figure out like the secret room stuff in this game. I'm still not really clued in on it. Bad boys out. This sword thing's pretty good here. I'm liking this. Hey, we got ourselves our essence as well here. We got ourselves a challenge room here. We'll see what's going on with that. Melee double attack. It's pretty good. Blocking an attack. Um, attacking rune spawns. Tumbling. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, easy peasy. Sheet death once. I think we'll definitely take that. Thank you. And I think we're good to go. Right, quickly, let's uh, get in our teleporter again, wherever they are. There it is. Nope, 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 nope. Go in here. Oh, it, it was this room here. I was wondering where this was. Another one of those jars. Your movement is locked to a grid. Mm, let's just take the regular room. I don't know what the double melee is doing. Bit annoyed that that hit me.
I must have instant max HP, even though that rocket thing is good. We need more max HP right now. Right, where's some viable max HP? Not max HP, normal HP. Some here, good. Right, let's use Mjolnir on the boss, I think. Oh, dude, that attack. I can't sort of get used to that attack and dodge it. Good. We're doing a good job here, though. Sadly, I'm not seeing many of the stompable stop time buttons appear. They must be quite rare. I've only seen one so far. I probably missed a few, but I've only actually used one. Oh, that fucking bird. Get out of here. Dude, the fucking bird. There it is. I only stopped time for a second. I wait for him to stop. Let's quickly go to the shop, actually, and uh, grab our full heal, just so we're safe. Just in case. Don't think we'd need it, but... Hey, her. Yeah, I didn't actually check, did I? Um, let me just quickly... Nah, actually, let's just try and kill him first. Alright, there you go. First phase is done. And the second phase is normally all of these, yeah. How much damage is this bad boy doing? We're getting more damage with this. Might be getting a little bit more with this, you know. Fuck you, bird. Nah, I think Molni is doing a bit more, actually. It's just a little bit slower in doing the damage, but I think it is doing more DPS. I, but I didn't mean to fucking walk through the... Some health, like, stuck in the goddamn wall. Oh, it died. Okay. Two hundred percent speed, two hundred percent herming. What, what? What exactly is this? I need to actually check what this is. Power ups, melee mimic. Poltergeist has noticed your prowess with melee weapons and decided to learn from your ways. They might not hit with the same power, but eh, let's, let's give it a go. Why not? Melee durability is good, but like, yeah, we don't need that right now. Right. Last world in between. Oh, I didn't know where I'm treading any of this. I'll just feed you. Okay, there you go. You've had paid out pretty quick. Unfortunately... Basically gave us nothing of any use. Right. Let's go. Last floor. We'll see how we do here. Should be pretty good to be fair. You two are having too much fun. This will never end. Especially with this quick as well. I just kind of zoom around every room at lightning speed. Bye, bosses. <laughs> to be fair, Mjolnir will be really good on this stage because we'll be fighting multiple bosses at once. And this has some good AoE to it. It's kind of shitty that it stops time for all of about one second. thought it was going to be like two or three seconds, give you some time to do some good damage. It's not. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is so intense. I'm trying not to sprint too much because I know I'm going to zoom myself like into some extra fire that I didn't mean to zoom myself into. Okay, there you go. Boom. At least we didn't get hit on that first bit there. I knew I was going to get hit by that. Extra hit in there because of the time stop, which is nice. You do your thing. Oh, dude, you like give me no time to attack you. It's really frustrating. Good. One hit on him there. Let's attack again. Zoom. All the way away. And zoom. Oh, zoom, zoom. Good. We're doing a really good job of killing him here. One more hit. Hey, there you go. The puppeteer has denied your entry. I still want to know how I enter this bit. The shield around the arms. Anyways, we will uh, end our run here feeling pretty goddamn good about that run. I love a good melee build, and we got some really, really intriguing melee items there. I think we're getting a lot better at the game as of late. And I love Mjolnir there. Mjolnir was a lot of fun. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll head back to the camp. Uh, another win under our belt. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.